In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert a decimal to a fraction. So if you have a decimal rounded to the nearest tenth, what you want to do is put it over 1 and multiply the top and bottom by 10. 0.3 times 10 is 3. 1 times 10 is 10. So that's going to be the answer for the first example. 3 over 10. For the next one, we're going to do the same thing. 0.4 times 10 is 4. 1 times 10 is 10. But for this one, notice that we can reduce the fraction. 4, we can write that as 2 times 2. 10 is 2 times 5. And we could cancel a 2 and simplify the fraction to 2 over 5. So 0.4 as the decimal is 2 fifths. So you always want to check to see if you can reduce the fraction to a simpler fraction. Now, let's say if we have a decimal rounded to the nearest hundredth place, like 0.32. And we want to convert that to a des I mean to a fraction. We're going to put it over one, but this time we're going to multiply by 100, top and bottom, instead of by 10. Point 32 times 10, you just got to move the decimal point two units to the right. That's going to be 32. One times 100 is 100. Now, what you need to do is check to see if you can reduce the fraction. 32 is 8 times 4. 100 is 25 times 4. Notice that we could cancel a 4, and we're left with 8 over 25. By the way, for those of you who don't like to simplify fractions that way, something you can do is, if you have even numbers, you can divide top and bottom by 2. Half of 32 is 16, half of 100 is 50. Now, they're still even, so you could divide by 2 again. 16 divided by 2 is 8, 50 divided by 2 is 25. At this point, we can't simplify it any further. What about this one, 2.25? So here we have two numbers after the decimal point. So it's it goes to the hundredths place. So we're going to put this over 1 and do the same thing. Multiply that number top and bottom by 100. 2.25 times 100, if you move the decimal point two units to the right, you'll get 225. 1 times 100 is 100. And now we could see if we could simplify this. Now this number ends in 5, so it's divisible by 5. And 100 ends in 0. That tells us it's also divisible by 5. 225 divided by 5. If you don't want to use long division, it might be good to use a calculator. This is 45. And 100 divided by 5 is 20. So notice that we can divide by 5 again. 45 divided by 5 is 9. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So this is the answer as an improper fraction. Of course, you can convert it to a mixed number if you want. Now what about this example, 0.128? Notice that we have three numbers to the right of the decimal. So because it goes to the, the thousandths place, we're going to put it over 1 and multiply the top and bottom by a thousand. So if we move this three decimal points to the right, we get that 0.128 times a thousand is 128. And one times a thousand is a thousand. So now we gotta simplify. If you don't know the factors of 128 and a thousand, you could just divide by two. Half of 128, half of 12 is six, half of eight is four, so we get 64. Half of a thousand. Half of 10 is 5. And then if you bring over the two zeros, you get 500. Now let's divide by 2 again. 64 divided by 2 is 32. 500 divided by 2 is 250. We can also divide by 2 again. Half of 32 is 16. Half of 250 is 125. At this point, we can't simplify it any further. We, 2 doesn't go into 125, so this is going to be our answer. It's 16 over 125. So that's how you can convert a decimal to a fraction. So if you have a number that goes to the tenths place, multiply it top and bottom by 10. If it goes to the hundredths place, multiply the decimal top and bottom by 100. If, it, if the number goes to the thousandths place, you want to multiply that number top and bottom by a thousand and so forth.